Hello and welcome to my last uh, Fairy Loot unboxing, not only of this year, but also I guess pretty much forever because I decided to cancel my subscription, not because I don't like the Fairy Loot boxes, but because there's always so many things in there that I don't really use or just, yeah, I don't really know what to do with them. One reason maybe being because I'm rather older than the young normal adult reader or young adult reader. So that's why I decided to cancel my subscription. The October box was actually my last box to receive. Um, so why do I have the December box now? Um, this is because by accident my October box got sent to the US instead of the of Switzerland. So Fairy Loot was so nice as to send me um, like this little excuse box to say they're sorry that I had to wait so long. So that's why I get the December box for free. So thank you very much to Fairy Loot. This is a really cool Christmas gift to get before Christmas and I cannot wait to get into it. Um, I don't really remember the theme for it because I didn't... I usually never know it because I just don't follow on Twitter or anywhere. So let's see what it was. Oh, this looks like kind of frozen. Like frozen. So this is the card that's always on top. Um, it also says what's in the box, so I'm not going to read it. But the theme was oh so regal. I'm going to put that aside now. The very first thing I see is actually a pop figure and it's Simba from The Lion King. I, I don't really remember when I saw that movie. I was maybe around, I don't know, 10, 15, somewhere around that age. And this made me cry so bad when uh, Simba's father died. So this is really cute to have. Um, I might actually give that to one of my children because, yeah, I may be a bit too old for that. And also because I don't have a bookshelf to put stuff like that on. So there we have little Simba. You can put him up here to my nativity. Then the next thing I have is a candle, which is called uh, Prince Adam. Uh, it seems to be from Beauty and the Beast. It's from A Court of Candles and it smells like, if I can open it, ugh, Jesus. Oh, it's nice and blue with some golden glitter on it. Mm, what is that smell? Maybe books or something? It's kind of hard. I don't know what it smells like. What is it supposed to smell like? Oh, it's Enchanted Rose Sandalwood. It's a Fairy Loot exclusive. It does have some kind of like musky scent to it. That's one thing I always liked in the Fairy Loot boxes, candles, because I always burn candles when I'm doing crafting stuff down in the basement, which is, uh, th that's where I have my crafting room. It's always quite cold in there, so to have one of these candles down there so it gives you a little nice whiff of something and some light and warm well a lot of a lot of warmth but still it's a nice feeling down there there's some kind of keychain and it says books rule hell yeah like the colors of this might actually put that on my backpack because I always wear a back. I don't have a handbag. I'm a backpack girl, so I'm gonna put that on my backpack. Then the next thing I see in this box is this little pouch. Love the colors on this, and it says "Virtuous and Fair, Royal and Gracious" by William Shakespeare. I guess it's more for mascara or for pencils. It's, I guess it's a pencil case because it has like, whoops, like this kind of plasticky lining, lining inside. 
Definitely gonna use that one. I know that already. So the next thing we have here is a bookmark. Um, it's for a uh, war storm from the Red Queen tri trilogy. Or I know I read Red Queen and Glass Sword. I want to read King's Cage next year, but there's obviously coming war storm out too. So it's still continuing this series. Whoop! Just fall down. So that's another book to put on my TBR. Then the next thing I have is a little notebook. And it says to look powerful is to be powerful by Victoria Aveyard. Obviously for the Red Queen trilogy. So it actually goes together with the bookmark then. Then what I also always love that if they include it is like a chapter sample because there's a lot of books i actually just bought because i had one of these chapter samples um this one is for rosemarked by livia blackburn haven't heard of that one but i'm definitely gonna read that one so or at least i'm gonna read the chapter sampler and then decide if i want to buy it and now the last thing in the box Except all the purple worms is the book and I'm really excited to see which one it is because I don't have an idea I'm just gonna pick out all the little goodies before I actually look at the book so there's the um, fairy scoop the uh, reading body card I actually used that one time just read it one time and I also found my reading buddy but since then I've never found any of my reading buddies so I kind of gave up on it so then there's the uh, bookmark which goes with the box then we have the um, letter from the author then this is the signed book play and now we'll see which book it is that's it Ooh. Sure looks cool. It's Everless by Sarah Holland. Have never heard of it, but it sure looks really cool. Let's see how it looks without the dust jacket. Nice red. I also like the end pages, like with, uh, what is it, serpents? Snakes? On both sides. And the red, the red is like this kind of glossy and shiny. Oh, and th that's actually a face. I just saw that. This is making a face here. And here we have this cityscape or this house. But I don't know what it's about. So as much as I can gather from uh, the synopsis here on the front, um, it's about the land of Sempera where uh, the rich people control everything and even time they actually control time which can be um extracted from your blood so the rich people they get to live like for centuries and the poor people they just uh dry out of blood and guess and time and die so i'm kind of interested to see how this is gonna go on so that was my absolutely last fairy loot unboxing as always it has been a pleasure to do this and um, I like actually every piece in this box. I think there's not one piece I would say I'm not gonna use, which is quite rare to happen. Even, even like little Simba, I always like to have a little pop figure because I don't really have any. And if I ever own a bookshelf, they're definitely gonna go on my bookshelf because this is like kind of childhood memory, little Simba. So thank you Fairy Loop for this really, really cool box. I might maybe buy one or two boxes, just like one a one piece buy, but I'm not gonna subscri uh, subscribe anymore. So maybe younger people who use all these uh, things that are in this box usually get a chance to buy one. And if I like the book I'm seeing, I can still buy it. So, so thanks again. And it has been a pleasure being a subscriber of Fairy Loop boxes. Keep on the keep uh, keep up with that good work with all those good things in the boxes. Um, I always loved the candles, tote bags, 
pouches, um, pillowcases was also something I really liked. I actually have a couple of pillowcases on my uh, sofa and I really really love those. So thanks, thanks, thanks to Fairy Loot and I hope you keep going like that. Thank you and bye.